Hey everyone, Emmy Lou here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Baranoi dinosaur. I thought it was Baranox, but it's Baranoi. I'll write the um, actual name of the dinosaur on the screen, but I'm going to draw it for Finlay and it's Uncle Robert is um, a friend of mine and he said, ah, oh, draw me Finlay's dinosaur. So hopefully Finlay will enjoy this and everyone else that wants to, sh that I wants to see how to draw one. So we're going to start off with, going to start off with landscape paper. I'm not quite sure why I'm singing that. Landscape paper, so any paper, but have it this way up. Pencil. Now you can go over with pen later on, but let's just draw it in pencil first. So the first thing you're going to want is look at the shape of the dinosaur. So it's going to be a really cool shape, this one. We're going to draw, it's going to be like, think of it like, um, Gosh, a peanut? Oh, no, a um, jelly bean. I love jelly beans. So think of it like a jelly bean and look at where I've left room. So I've left about that much room and I've left a lot of room there. So once you've done the peanut shape, just take your time doing the peanut shape. We're going to rub out quite a lot of it. So don't worry if you think, how's that going to look like a dinosaur? We're going to work from this. So all you're going to need is a tail. So what you want to do is you don't want to just suddenly do it. You want to draw into the peanut, then go like this. And do the same for the other side. So you're staying in that peanut shape. Stay, 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 then come off. So it's kind of like that shape. And you're going to get your rubber, your eraser, just rub away. Oh man, sorry. So you're going to use a rubber. I'm using this just to get rid of the, the mark. I think you can hear the lawnmower. I love the fact that every Monday I do videos and I can hear things outside. Hopefully you can't hear it. Now I want to do a leg. So the first leg, let's do the head first, just so it probably is a bit easier. I think it's too loud, isn't it, that noise? Do you know what? I am going to pause it till he's finished. Okay, right, noise has gone, which is pretty cool. I just realised this is like wonky. Okay, let's go guys. Right. I'm just, he's, blo he's leaf blowing outside, so it's just, it just feels like it's good. I'm gonna do this before he comes back. Right, touch the peanut there and go out a little bit. Then go up and we're going to shape the face. So you want a line coming out, line going up, line going across. And we're going to do the nose. It's the same as a Godzilla one, if you've seen it, that I did. It's like a ma. It's like a very subtle ma, which means it's not like, it's just bump, bump. And then what we're going to do is here we're going to do an eye. So any eye you like can be quite a scary eye if you like. I like doing the scary eyes. And then here you could do like the little nostrils. Quite nice to do big ones actually, isn't it? Now, where the peanut thing is, you're going to do this. Can you see what I did? It's like that bit, but we're going to do this bit. Then this is going to form the whole of the mouth. So you're going to do this. You're going to go down. Can you see what I'm doing? So try and get it like that. It reminds me of a weird banana shape for some reason. So you've gone down like a U shape, quite slanted, up, and then around it a bit, and then join up to the nose. Something like that. We might have to fiddle with it a little bit, so don't worry if you think, I can't do it. Just give it a go. We want to join this up to here. So we're joining that up to there. We're going to rub out in a moment, but here we're going to make it a little bit more like a mouth. So we're going to do this bobbly bit and then a line down. So a bobbly bit and a line down. Here, make it 3D, just a little line there. And then we want to do the top of the mouth. I would say the head's the most complicated thing. So if you're thinking, I can't do it, just take your time, pause the video, go back and have a look what I did. 
but we're just going to touch there, there. So you want to go, it's like you're joining it all up now. I'm going to do it chunky so you can really see it. Okay, right. I had to fiddle with this for a while, <clears throat> so you might have to fiddle just till you get what you want. But ultimately, you want big teeth, because the teeth help, <laughs> and then teeth here. And he's got teeth on this side, but sometimes you don't really see them much. But the tongue's really important, so we're going to do a ma, that there. And I like to do all the way up. So it's like a strange tongue. I like the idea of, of doing a line there, maybe. You've got to do quite a few lines on a dinosaur because he's got tons of little lines where he's got his little head. So obviously take your time. Don't worry too much if it's a bit complicated. I'm going to rub out this bit here. Everything takes time, so if it's not going to plan, just stop, have a break, come back to it, look at the head. And as I say, keep playing the video back because that will help you. So we're going to do another line there. Now, the legs are really easy, so I guess you could have a break from the head if it's really tricky and then go on to the legs and come back if you want. But as long as you've got something like that, we're going to do the legs. So the first leg is going to go somewhere here. You're going to go out like that. Like a little claw. Totally looks like a claw. And then you've got the other leg. Just do two little lines down. Just to help you actually. Do two lines down and then a bobbly bit. And this comes out like... Like that. If you can't do it, think of it like a rectangle, triangle, if that helps. It's a bit like a triangle. This one is his little little um, arm, got tiny little arms. I call myself dinosaur arms if I can't do the gym because it's too difficult. My legs are stronger. <laughs> so we're going to just leave a gap and go like that. And then... This fits like a circle, so just think, arm, circle, then you've got like pointy bits. Because ah. once you've got the shape you need, then you rub out the guideline. Sometimes you might not need a guideline. You might be quite confident in the shapes you're doing. We're going to rub out there. Nothing wrong with doing a guideline, I think they're really helpful. Right, the big hind leg. So that's the back leg, that's hind leg, and this is the back, the other back one. So we're going to go up like here, so leave a gap again, go down like that. So just chomp, and these are gone. You're going to have your big toes. All you have to do with this, if you're a bit tricky, like find it a bit tricky, is do two lines down and a triangle then you can fiddle around with the toes and you can make the nails as well so it's a work in progress which means you don't have to get it straight away right right done that okay right all you have to do now once you've got your basic shape and this is for any picture really Look at what is working for you and look at what isn't. <laughs> so if you think, mm, I don't really like that, rub it out and fiddle with it more. I'm going to go over this dock. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I think I went over the tibet. See, you do not need to use tibet, by the way. You're just using the rubber. You see, like, if I go around it darker, it's like a definite line. It looks like, okay, I'm done. This is what I want, you know? So it's nice to go around things in a darker line, and then it belongs to the head then as well, doesn't it? Okay. I like him. He looks cute. I don't know if he's supposed to look cute, but he looks cool. 
tail's gone a bit funny there, isn't it? Right, so all you can do, do a line. He doesn't have that many spikes. I mean, you can just do however many spikes you like. It's totally up to you. I'm just doing body texture. So it's like inside there is gonna be quite cool. You could do them on a rock or something, couldn't you? Where's my... Oh, never mind. <laughs> right, now what colour is he? I think he's like a brownie green. I mean, he might just be a brown, so you decide what colours you want. Why not a pink one? How cool would that be? So I'm going to do a brown chalk. I'm going to get chalk. If you're doing paint, it's fine. Coloured pencils is fine. I'm just doing the outside if it's chalk. If it's coloured pencils, just colour the whole thing. If it's a back leg, I like doing it dark because then it's like shadow. Inside the mouth, I'm going to do like a pink tongue. It's kind of red, isn't it, that one? I like the idea of a bright pink inside the mouth. But predominantly, so mostly, it's going to be black. It's quite fun to paint the teeth in black. Um, white at the end. Right, is it green? I'm gonna do a bit, I'm gonna do a bit of green just because I like green, that's all. But he's, he's pretty much quite dark in brown, I should imagine. Okay, gonna smudge. The colouring's the fun bit, really, because you can decide what you want to colour it with, you can decide how it's gonna look with you know, it could be a stripy one, why not? There's no rules if you're drawing it and it's just for you. Okay, he looks quite scary. He does, he looks scary, <laughs> which is good. I'm gonna do some white teeth in chalk over the top, just so you can see it, because it's kind of lost a little bit of... Okay, now I want to go around it in black just because it looks like it stands out more. So I'm going to get a black chalk. Depends how ferocious you want him to look as well. It's quite nice to do um, a yellow eye, isn't it? They look really cool with yellow eyes. Mm. It takes a while. No. And you could, oh, imagine you could colour his toenails. I don't think you want to, but why not, you know, if you want to. Right, so with the black, when I go over it, I'm just going to go, it looks like a giant frog in my screen, hopefully it doesn't look to you. <laughs> I'm going to go over the black with my finger. If you don't have, some of you don't have chalk, so just colour the whole thing like a nice light brown. Take your time and then colour the, just use the colours I've got. Red for the mouth, bit of black in there. You could get paint and paint the um, teeth in white, would be quite cool actually. So there is my Baronock. I think it's Baron Baronoi. It's a Baronoi dinosaur. So like, subscribe and share. Don't worry about these bits. That's my tip X to my jelly bean. <laughs> what you could do is do him on a rock or have fire coming out of him because they wouldn't have fire, the dinosaurs, but you could turn it into almost like a dragon of wings or something. It could be a fictional thing. That'd be quite cool. Um, I do like the spy the spikes. The sparks. So take your time. I think the best thing about it is when you take your time adding the details. So like, I just kind of like the idea of him being a bit yellow. Just because I like that colour. So take your time with it. Let me know how you get on. And it's not going to either because it's a tipex on that. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Enjoy it doing your Baron away. It could be Baron Ox, but either way, enjoy your dinosaur and I shall see you soon.